Garth Kelly. Uh, but if you had that opportunity to sit down with him and ask him about, you know, what would you have wanted to learn from him about Dr. McCoy? Oh my gosh, that's a fantastic uh, question. Uh, I'd love to know what Dr. McCoy got paid. <laughs> <laughs> Star Trek, uh, you know, his uh, Federation salary. Um, <laughs> uh, no, seriously, and it was a joke. Seriously, um, uh, great question. I just would love to pick, pick his brains about, um, you know, his experience of, 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 of working on, uh, you know, Trek for 40 odd years. And, you know, I have such respect for him that he came into that show and through the strength of his work and chemistry, with Mr. Shatner and Mr. Nemo, you know, he was elevated to, you know, a third billing status, and that sort of triumvirate was the core of that television show. And you know, and I remember, you know, reading that you know Gene Roddenberry had written those characters basically as a uh, as a sort of a, a uh, sort of a fractured representation of Kirk's mind, because the challenge was how do I externalize the internal dilemma that is going on inside of Kirk at any given time and so obviously he gave you know uh, compassion and, and heart uh, to uh, of aspect of the argument to, uh, to to bones and then he gave sort of cold hard logic and science of it to, uh, to Spock and then they would often debate um, you know those aesthetics with with Kirk and then he would be you know the, the leader in charge and make the decisions um, so you know I uh, as I said yeah he, he really has some wonderful material to work with and I hope on a forward going basis that um, that we get to see a bit more of that uh, that dynamic that triumvirate I think it would be add a, uh, a huge strength to, um, to the current iteration We've done a great job with him. We can't make a few more. Thank you very much.